Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Three Stacks in this thing. I'm gonna go over some test hands to show y'all exactly how my deck works. Um, this deck right now, it's the Infernoid Fire King True King deck. Uh, well, Infernoid Fire King True King Destrudo. It's a lot of stuff. It's really cool. I like it. Um, I try my best to like make things work when I have like a vision and a dream for a deck. And it's just like, you know, I don't care about what people say about, oh, it could break. I don't let that stop me. This deck turned out to be a huge success, man. It did. It's amazing. It's so strong. Like, when you open with Calamities and Void Feast, that is GG, no re, no matter how you look at it. Uh, your monster effects are completely turned off, and I've still got Negates to back things up. And I still have Noids and Grave to kill you next turn. Oh, uh, this deck is just so dumb savage. And it's really, really spicy. It's such an innovative deck. It's one of my um, hugest successes. Just like my Gym Knight deck. Um, my... I think it was the uh, the Christron Metal Foes Zodiac True King True Draco deck. My Weather Painters True King True Draco. Uh, there are so many different decks that I just wanted to try out. Thought they were spicy. My Prediction Princess Spellbook Invoked Shed All deck. Like there's a lot of decks that just didn't seem like they would work, and I somehow made them work. And this deck is the most recent success. Let's do some test hands, man. I'm really excited about this. So you draw a diagram, Decatron. Uh, Supreme King, Dragon, Dark Worm, Decatron again, Void Feast. Huh. Huh. I guess we can make some. We can make some plays. Uh, you know what? We can actually do a lot more. <clears throat> okay, I need to read a card in my extra deck real fast. Okay, got it, got it. I have a play here. So, then activate diagram. Use this effect. Destroy Supreme King, Dragon, Dark Worm. Ooh, I, should, I should definitely play at least like one Supreme King gate card just to get some value out of him, right? No, that's Bricky, dude. <laughs> I know. All right. And then at that point, we are going to search out. I guess we'll search out Mariamne to diagram again. How are you going to diagram again? You're about to see right now. We're about to make something happen. But in order to do that, we're going to have to use Decatron to not send an Unctuar Deviati. So we're going to actually send out our, where's my boy at? Okay, here he is, here he is. I need to pull my boy out. I actually have 59 cards right now. Um, I need to find a 59th red sleeve. Crap. Where's that? I don't feel like doing it. Okay, one, one of my Inferno monsters are not in a sleeve right now because I have 59 sleeves. This is supposed to be a 60 card deck. One of my red sleeves like messed up to the point where I can't use it, but it's my Entra. So we're just going to pretend like Infernoid Decatron sent Infernoid Entra, right? And now Decatron's a level three. Oh, you know what I was supposed to do first? I was supposed to special summon Dark Worm. Sorry, guys. I'm still getting the hang of this deck. I literally just built it three days ago. Um, so special summon Dark Worm from the grave first, then you normal summon Decatron. And then we'll pretend that this skill prisoner is our Infernoid Entra, right? And so now Decatron's a level three because he gains the level of Entra. Then you'll Synchro Summon the uh, Dark Worm and Decatron. And you'll make Ancient Fairy. Then you'll use Ancient Fairy to destroy a Diagram. And then you can search out Fire King Island. You can search out another Diagram. You can do a lot, but actually what I think I'm going to do is um, just because I don't want to waste too many Diagrams, I'm going to search out Pseudo Space and activate Pseudo Space and banish Diagram to count itself as Diagram. And then I'm going to use this effect again and destroy Mariamne. Then I'm going to search out Fire King Agni Masood. Matter of fact, let's actually do this. Let's search out double Barastos. So we're going to search out Barastos. And then off of the uh, Mariamne, we're going to search out Barastos again. Because we need to clear the extra monster zone nonetheless. So we're just going to reveal. Destroy Ancient Fairy and Barastos. One of the monsters is a water. Barastos' effect kicks in, which will special summon out our Agni Mazu in defense. So at least we were able to turn this hand into a first turn Calamities. That's not that bad. And considering that it seemed like a really awkward hand, like you do, you drew some good cards. The two good cards were Decatron and Diagram. But it's like looking at it, the um what the card that really made everything happen was actually Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. And he's the one of that you really brick with when you draw him, but we somehow made this hand work, so we're going to summon Calamities, a.k.a. Chlamydia, and, you know, that's what you can do with that turn, and you're drawing a Terraforming next turn, which, oh my gosh, that's pretty amazing. I like that. I, I like that hand. Oh, I like that. And this is a 60 card, 59 card right now. I'm sorry. 60 card deck, though, and it's it's really consistent. I like it so much. 
I've been having a lot of fun with it, and I basically have been learning how to play it because I still haven't mastered this deck. Um, it was just an idea I had, and I made it work somehow. And then I'm like doing test hands with it, practicing with it, dueling with it, and I'm like, I did not know I can do that. I did not know I can do that. I did not know I can do that. Like it's just so much stuff that keeps coming up that's amazing me. Uh, next hand is Tinky, Imagination, Dragon's Ravine, Desires, and Chicken. That's not that bad. I like Chicken a lot. People be like, why are you playing Chicken so much? I just like Chicken, dude. I, 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 chicken's so awesome. Like, he, he helps you in the grind games when your opponent's trying to kill you, right? And your opponent's like, attack Chicken. You're like, use Chicken. Did you know that Chicken summons a Fire King Avatar monster from your deck? So guess what? Summon another Chicken. Bam. Oh, you hit the second chicken, summon the third chicken, bam, that one dies. Summon Arvada, Arvada dies, summon back the chicken, chicken dies. You just it's just like Yang Zings. It just you have so much floating grind game, it's amazing. Um, so I guess what we can do with this hand, if I think these through, um, is Floyd Imagination is pretty good. You know, if we draw a feast off of that, then we can use it. So I guess we can Tinky first into Arvada. And we can make a Destrudo play. I was actually thinking, here's what I was thinking with this hand, because we had Ravine, right? I was like, we can use Ravine, and we can, like, send this, right? Especially, and then Normal Summon Arvada, and make a first turn Boguska. But that's not, uh, like, always ideal, and it's not all that. And then on the flip side, I was like, no, I can do a lot more, actually, come to think of it, with this hand. <laughs> and I'm going to go for Destrudo instead, because I can get Diagram or Fire King's Island, or I can just get, um actually, the... Pseudo space if I wanted to to ravine again. I don't know. Just some some thoughts. <clears throat> so we're adding Arvada. Um, and one could say, you know, if you're playing in an actual duel, you would normal Arvada first. So if your opponent tries to hand trap your field spell, you can protect it by destroying the chicken. Um, but this is a test hand. <clears throat> I think we'll proceed then to activate Dragon's Ravine. Pitching chicken. And um, we're gonna send Destrudo. Wherever he's at. Oh, yeah, I added in Masterpiece. Since I've done the deck profile, I actually upgraded this deck a lot. I added in Masterpiece, Infernoid, Entra, because I was like, nah, he's too good. I need to play him. I added in Barong. I added in a lot of stuff. I cut one of the chickens, I think. The deck has changed yet again. Sending Destrudo. And then after that, now that I've got Destrudo on my deck, I'm in the Desires. I just didn't want to banish that Destrudo because it would have ruined the combo that I had in mind. Um, So at this point, we're just going to activate Desires. You play three desires, it's a 60 card deck. Vanishing one, two, three, four. Oh, the diagram. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We banished two desires, but we've also banished two of our fire tricking, which can kind of hurt in the future. Um, I guess we're gonna have to use Cypher and Little Omega to return this and then use the the um what's it called? The disciples of the true Draco Phoenix to put it back. So we're gonna have to we might dedicate a couple turns to just making that play relevant. Um, and then we're going to draw two. Terraforming and Void Feast. I knew it. Yes, this hand is going to be so lit. It's going to be so lit. I'm telling you. Uh, we're going to Terraforming. And we're actually going to Terraforming into a uh, Diagram, right? We're going to play Diagram. We're going to use this effect to destroy Tinky. And we're going to search out Mariamne, right? Then you're going to uh, normal summon your Arvada. Activate Destrudo. Pay half your life. Summon him. Sink Destrudo. Bottom of your deck. Bottom. Ancient Fairy. And then you're going to use Ancient Fairy. Ancient Fairy is going to... Did we banish Decatron? We banished one Deviati. Oh, yeah. This is going to be such a great opening. Okay. This is the opening I was telling you about in the beginning of the video. This is going to be dope. Ancient Fairy is going to destroy Dragon uh, Dragonic Diagram. And since we only have one diagram left in the deck, it's a lot smarter to actually just get the pseudo space instead. That's why I like pseudo space a lot. I might actually take this into my true Draco deck that I'm running right now. Um, because I have that problem too where I burn out my diagram so quickly because it has a lot of draw power. And it's just, you know, sometimes you have a terraforming with no diagram. Or you have that situation where you drew Dragonic Diagram and Terraforming, and you don't want to waste two diagrams from your deck because if one gets out of you have literally one left. You'd be like, no, I'm going to just Diagram first and then terraform you in the pseudo space and then keep two diagrams. And then, you know, Ancient Fairy blew um, Wait. Oh, yeah, that's what I did. I Ancient Fairy blew up my diagram, added pseudo space, played pseudo space. Um, and you have options still. You can, like, Dragon's Ravine again, 
but I'm gonna diagram again. So we're gonna banish the diagram. Pseudo space is treated as it pop. And we're gonna do the same exact thing here. We're gonna go for two Barastos. I'm glad I didn't banish the two Barastos. So I guess banishing two of the fire troop came made it better because this combo would not have been that good if I banished two of him. I wouldn't be able to do what I'm trying to do. Reveal, destroy, special. And now all of our true kings are gone. That's all seven of them. You have four out of the deck. And then, um, wait, one, two, three, four. No, you have one more left in deck. You have one more uh, Barastos the water. So you can actually search him out next turn and then do the Calamities water combo where you pop two monsters to summon him and then banish two back rows from the field or the grave. So now that this has been summoned, you overlay, summon Chlamydia, and then you're going to set your Void Feast. Uh, you know, you could keep imagination in hand. Then you activate it in standby, pitch that. And this is what I was telling you about in the beginning of the video. Um, Calamities and uh, Void Feast is really, really strong. And here's exactly why. Because now it's like your opponent, especially if you're playing Spirals, your opponent really cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, I don't think that hardly any deck can play Yu-Gi-Oh under such restrictive, like, oppression. You know, I, I mean, Pinlow Magicians, they really can't because their monster effects can't activate. And guess what? If they're in the extra deck, it's still a monster in your possession, which is amazing. So <clears throat> what Calamities does is it's like now your Decatron's negates are even more detrimental than they were before because they're negating stuff that your opponent really doesn't like have to begin with. So it's like standby, you know, activate this. If your opponent tries to chain Gamma or Ghost Ogre, Decatron will answer to that. So it's like, this is unbreakable right here, practically. No monsters, and then you can negate the board wipe anyways. And you, your one kaiju is not going to solve the problem. So like, you know, let's say, for example, uh, your opponent activates something, and you're like, okay, I'm going to use the uh, actual Deviati one. The uh, No, I'm sorry, the Anuncture one, the one that negates spells and traps. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tribute off, you know, the Calamities. So that this rank 9 is no longer blocking you from summoning your Noids from Grave. Tribute the Calamities, right? So you keep your Negates on board also. And then your opponent's like, oh, um, past turn. You draw for turn. You do a Tondel. You still have Negates on board, right? You still have Negates. So, like, you're in a very, very advantageous position at this point. Because now you can go for this. Um, He's actually a level 6 or lower. So you can go for um, Pseudo Space. Banishing Ravine. And then you can pitch this Atondel, who serves no purpose in your hand to begin with. And then you're going to send your Destrudo again. And you can make another Destrudo. Like, you, you just could go off. Like, there's so much that you can do. You still have Noids and Grave. Like, you have a lot of options. It's, this is just stupid. That was a... Are you kidding me? In the 60-card deck, are you really doing this? Oh, my gosh. That is just amazing. Oh, I think the bread and butter definitely goes to the field spells. They're just so good. Um, all my field spells are amazing. Even Fire King Island is just so awesome. I really hope you guys are enjoying this because I am enjoying myself. Let's go for another test hand. We draw on Pseudo Space, Barong, Void Feast, Deviati, and Arvada. This hand is not as ideal. <clears throat> but what you can do is have Arvada to negate. And Barong will then search for another Fire King card, which could be, you know, Fire King Island. It could be the big chicken, the little chicken. Totally depends, you know, your search and cut. And the card you draw next turn is Desires. That can lead to other things. That hand wasn't ideal, but it still leads to other things, which is really cool. It's just not like a first turn setup. But nonetheless, there's some pretty good hands that I've been getting out of this deck. And I've been liking it. Um, I think the Pseudo Space and Deviati contributed to the hand being lackluster. But it's such a rare occasion when you draw the one pseudo space, and also you only play two Deviatis, and it's a 60 card deck. So that doesn't always happen to you, keep that in mind. The probability of it happening is so low. Um, Because you draw Void Vanishment in your opening hand, you already have Void Feast. Let's just see if we can get like some kind of a other... Oh yeah, we can get some other combos. We can definitely get some other combos. Alright, if I think this through, we can go <clears throat> Fire King Island first. Pop Big Chicken, and whenever Big Chicken summons herself during the standby, it's uh special summon this card when you do destroy all other monsters on the field. So you're not gonna want to void feast during the standby, right? Because your stuff's gonna get destroyed. Um, so popping her, she's now been destroyed, and we'll trade her out for a decent target because you can go for either Ancient Fairy or Baguska. Um, but I think Ancient Fairy is always like one of my favorite favorite uh plays to make. Uh, let's not do the Arvada. 
that because we're gonna actually use it for synchro. So we're let's just go for Yaksha, right? And then you're gonna activate the Dragon's Ravine. Uh, you're going to go ahead and you know what? We're gonna have to desires because we need something to discard that's not important right now. Desires helped a lot. This hand is like perfect. One, come on now, let's get our cut. All right, let's get it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is a sad desire. So I almost don't want to show this to you guys, but just know that one of my Decatrons has been banished. One of my feasts has been banished. One of my imagination has been banished. My Thomas has been banished. My one for one's gone. I lost the Deviati. I lost two True Kings. Dang. This draw better be worth it. And we've drawn Destrudo. Well, you know what? We can still make this work, honestly, because now we're just going to go um, <clears throat> Ravine, pitch the Strudo, and then send off the, uh, the Dark Worm guy. That Desires really hurt me. And I thought, you know, let's cut my deck and hope the Desires doesn't hurt. After I cut my deck, the Desires freaking hurt. Send Supreme King Dark Worm and then special summon him. Oh, cool. All right. Special him. Then I guess this should have became an Arvada, right? Because now Arvada is actually serving a purpose. Um, but who would have known in, um, I guess, in hindsight that you would have drawn the cards you drew off the Desires? And then the Strudo. And you're going to go ahead and sink. Strudo goes to the bottom of the deck. Ancient Fairy. Destroy Ravine. Uh, we're going straight for Diagram now. I like how it cycles through the field spells. It makes me really, really happy. Because, like, you somehow, some way, always get freaking Diagram. And I think that's what the, the Dragon's Ravine package really did for the deck. It helps, you, it helps you to get an extended way to search out your Diagram so that you're playing, like, you play seven Diagrams because you play three, three Terraformers, and then set Rotation. But then one could even look at Dragon's Ravine and the Strudo as two more copies of Diagram because... The Strudel on his own is going to be Ancient Fairy, which equals, you know, this, that, and the other. It's just really, really cool how you have just so many different ways to still make your plays. It's basically the bottom line. And then this is going to be something cool. The combo is going to be extended because you're going to activate Diagram. You're actually going to destroy Yaksha. So I guess I'm pretty happy that I searched Yaksha because you're going to destroy Yaksha. You're going to search out <clears throat> your Barastos, right? And then at that point, Yaksha triggers, if it's destroyed, to destroy one card in your hand. The card in your hand, you destroy is Barastos. And then Barastos will trigger, which will allow you to special summon the True King. That's not a water. So you can go for the Fire one. Or you can just go, oh yeah, the Wind one's banished. So yeah, your only target is the Fire one. So you'll summon him, right? I should have put this in one of the extra monster zones so that people don't be like, three seconds, do you not know what Master Wolf 4 is? Yeah, I know. And um, you, you're kind of set up. I like this. I like where it's going. And then Void Vanishment finishes things off. And um, I guess since I've set myself up to this point, I don't think I'm going to activate. Um, this is going to suck, dude. This is totally going to suck. Because like now I've screwed myself over with my big chicken. Because there's no choice. After this was destroyed by card effects, special summon this card when you destroy, do destroy all monsters on the field. That's going to kind of suck. So, Void Vanishment has uh, triggered pitching that. Search your feast. <clears throat> you know, set your feast. Stand by Garunix. Garunix kills Ancient Fairy and uh, Agni Mazud. Agni Mazud will at least get to add this back to hand. So, you're, you're, you're banking on a play next turn. Um, Garunix is there. Then, you know, you feast whenever you want to. And you're pretty much, you're set up now because now you have the Decatrons, you have the Negators, you have this big booty right here. If it gets destroyed by battle, they're going to allow you to special from deck. If they destroy by card effect, they're setting themselves up to be killed later. And you still have this, pop it with Diagram. You have a lot of combos there. You, this is actually, this alone, that's a Calamities. So this deck, oh, I'm real liking it. I'm really, really liking it. Where are we at? Um, oh, we're about 19 minutes in. Okay. So I guess we'll do one more test hand, and that is it. I, I was unaware that this video was 
rolling that long. It only felt like 10 minutes to me. All right, one more test hand and then we're done. Tinky, Fire King, one for one, Petrolia, Tinky. Ah, it don't feel right ending on this hand. I'm sorry, I'm gonna switch it up. You can do some stuff, trust me, you can do a lot with that hand. But I just want to end this video on a like crazy out like this last test hand that I did. I could end the video on that, but I feel like one more test hand is is it's just you know it's due. So we've drawn the Nongchu, Fire King Island, um, Chicken or the Dracos, Petrolia, and Rekindling. So I guess what we can do with this hand, it's not gonna be all that, but. Barking Island, pop the this chicken, right? And then search out <coughs> Arvada. Now nah, let's not search out Arvada. Let's search wrong, I guess. And then this triggers, searching you out the true king. I'm going to make this hand work somehow, some way. And then reveal effect pop pop and then his effect triggers and then what can we do after that three stacks i guess rekindling made things possible because now you're gonna waste your enough to summon patrulia you know we should summon patrulia first how am i supposed to make this hand work let me go back like I'm, what i'm trying to do is do like some kind of a guska play so let's think things through right here so you're like Banking on this, right? You can't really summon the true king. So I guess instead of summoning the true king, we'll just banish an uncle from hand to a special patrolia, right? And then just normal summon Barong. And then you have a Baguska, which ain't that bad. You know, it's not, not that bad. It's not ideal, though. And then he stalls out for one turn. That one turn is basically all you needed because now you have set rotation, right? set rotation and you're gonna obviously give yourself diagram obviously give your opponent uh not fire king island i guess we'll give them pseudo space the field spell that they cannot use um should i have done something with fire king island first nah because the cards in my hand pretty much matter i mean then at this point uh diagram will do what yeah, Diagram will destroy Baguska, allowing us to search out this card, which is the Water True King, Barastos the Fathomer. <clears throat> then we'll resolve Rekindling for one. Right? We're making a weird, awkward hand work, okay? Uh, Agni Mizzou pop that effect. Special. Okay, okay, all right, that's fair. I guess we'll just end it with Chlamydia. Or you could be like, uh, rip a card out your hand. Let's rip a card out their hand. Like, you know, what's up? Either way, I didn't really like that hand, but I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video. Just showing you guys how this deck works. I'm getting better with it. I'm learning it slowly but surely. Um, definitely, if you want to try something like this out, I recommend that you just step out of your comfort zone. Grab a bunch of cards out of your common boxes and your trades. Cards that you don't think have any value. Cards that you just would never play. Make a deck out of them. That's my challenge to all the viewers here. Um, try not to net deck so much. Um, the reason why uh, my team has gotten like this far with um, how our deck building skills are is because we do not net deck. Instead of like playing decks the way people play it, we try to find an alternative way to have the same result. Um, it's just like doing the same thing but without running the same cards and also without stealing the ideas from somebody else who, you know, probably did the same thing we did. He just made something work. But with that said, i like to say God bless you guys. Make good choices. Don't hurt your brain cells. Stay tuned for future content. I love y'all. You will definitely be hearing from me soon. I love this deck with a passion, trust, and believe. It has a, just a special place in my heart. It's Oh, that's a good hand. That's a really good hand. But yeah, it has such a special place in my heart, man. It's just something that I feel like I can't let the dream die. You know, I really do like this deck. I appreciate everything that you guys do for me. And I hope you guys definitely can, um, you know, <clears throat> show some love to the channel, even if it's just checking out some of our older videos. Trust me, that stuff really does warm my heart. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. You'll be hearing from me soon.